Hi folks, Ron Nose here. You're probably wondering, where am I? Glad you asked. I'm in my attic in my garage. And as you can see, that's the center of the garage. Those are center ridge vents. What happens in a garage or in any roofing system in at least Florida and probably where you live, the soffits allow air in. And if you can see, there's cardboard there to hold the insulation out of the way so that air can come into the house through that, keep the roof cool, and then go out the center cap right there. Now on mine, you may notice that there's shingles blocking this part, and that's okay because the rest of it is wide open. And it is that way because I did that. The previous owner, when he had it re-roofed, they just covered over the ridge caps and uh, there was no ventilation. So I cleaned it up. So now air goes right through there, no issues. But he told me his electric bills were around six, averaged around 600. And I said, there's no way I'm gonna do that. So what I did, blown in insulation. Now, this is the wall, the barrier that they put in the garage between the house living space and the garage. So inside the actual house, this foam is up here and it seals it completely. There is no ventilation in there. And the purpose of that is this keeps the inside of the house when it's applied properly, about 10 degrees in the attic, keeps the attic about 10 degrees warmer than the house itself because it's all enclosed and you know there's there, air is always going to go from the house to the ceiling into the attic so it keeps it nice and cool in there what's also nice about it is if you notice here's the air vent going into the house this this carries cold air okay and it goes into the house a little loop right there so we're going to cap that off um this goes into the house so now in, in a normal house and including this one prior to you had hot air in the attic in the attic and you have cold air running through that creates condensation chance for mold and it also um you know just creates sweat and and that's not good it makes your air conditioner less efficient and again it gets you higher bills my bill last year averaged around 275 now you might say that's a lot well keep in mind that this house has a sprinkler system the sprinkler system runs twice a week and our electric bill includes our water use bill for the house and for the sprinkler system we also have a pool so that pool runs five to six sometimes seven hours a day every day. So all that is included in that 275 bill, not too shabby. This spray foam insulation has definitely paid for itself. I highly recommend it. If you have questions about it, please go ahead and post it in the comments. If you like this video, if you want more informational videos, let me know. Either way, if you don't like this video, watch some of my others, you might like those. But I do hope that you like and subscribe because Ron knows.